brothers, all of you. There is a current that goes on like this. Magnetic field is going in this direction. Okay. Now, can you prove in this case the way you have proved in earlier case that torque is equal to current into area into magnetic field? Don't speak while talking, while writing. No, you can't change the shapes. Then you have used the same logic, then why am I asking you to do it? You have to derive the way you have derived the previous one. Okay, there is a small trick. Okay. Anyways, if you divide it into like this, look at here. Assume that current is going like this, then goes like that. This is the, the this length, the width is so small that you can treat it like a rectangle. Okay. Then you can assume current like this goes like that, this, then come back. So see, this, this section current get cancelled away if you merge the two loops. Similarly, you can assume current going like this, then going like that, then like this. So all these current which is coming in between will get cancelled away. Only the outer current will remain. Okay? So you can assume that infinite uh, rectangular loops are there stack one above the other like this understood okay so if you assume to be rectangular right now then you can use the expression which you have derived for rectangle okay which is what current into area of that rectangle into b okay so if you integrate this you'll get a total torque i into b a constant comes out so it becomes simply I into A into B. Okay? Alright? So, torque will be equal to M cross B is valid even for this. Ah, torque is a vector. You realize it now? Done? Any doubts? <coughs> Anything? Any doubts on this? No doubts? Okay. Alright, so let us take up this question. Okay. A 100 ton closely wound circular coil of radius 10 cm carries a current of 3.2 ampere. Next class by the way will be only problem practice on this chart. Okay, what is the field at the center? Magnetic field at the center. Second, what is the magnetic moment of the coil? First, find out this, and I know that you are straightforward. So, if it is straightforward, get it right, all of you. So, can we express an answer in terms of pi? Pi get cancelled. Uh, we know that all by okay. yeah. okay. okay. is cancelled. No, but it's still divided by pi and then answer in terms of my Is that it first? What is your answer? 
along the axis of a coil. So the coil is all coming out of the board. Okay, magnetic field you can say comes out of the board B. So you should be drawing like this the diagram. Okay, the coil rotates through an angle of 90 degree under the influence of magnetic field. It rotates by 90 degree because of the magnetic field B. Okay, take it into find out these C part which is C magnitude of the torques at initial and final position and the last part is angular velocity after it has rotated by 90 degree. Understood the question? Any doubt in the question? Uh, spend 2-3 minutes quietly, solve yourself and then keep quiet. Just raise your hand. Huh? Current? Huh? Current is there. Sorry about that. Current is there. Current is right. Same current is there. Don't put the value right now because you anyway do the calculation. So let's keep it as an expression by theta. Omega by the time it requires theta. In terms of theta, you get the answer. Uh, sir, it's taking a uh, magnetic uh, moment is in uh, which direction? Uh, magnetic moment in the direction of thumb if you draw your hand in the direction of thumb. Okay? Try spending a couple of minutes. Don't start talking. Solve it. Can you keep quiet? Solve yourself for 10 minutes. Will gravity have any effect? Will gravity create any torque? It cannot. Gravity to the center of mass. It doesn't create any torque. And even if it does, along the axis torque is zero for the gravity. Even if suppose it is Okay, anyone? Are you moment of inertia of the mass You need mass. We need moment of inertia. Yeah, you need moment of inertia, which is I. Okay. About this axis. So initial torque is how much? How much? I into pi r square into V. 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 Why? Because torque is M cross B. Angle between M and B is what right now? What is the angle between M and B right now? I mean 90 degree, right? No, zero. There must be some disturbance. There is zero. B is coming out and B is also coming out. Angle is zero, right? The torque is zero. Okay. Now, when it is rotated by theta, what is the angle between M and B then? Now it is theta. Okay. If you rotate by theta, angle becomes theta. Initially it was zero. If initially it was 90, then you rotate by theta, it becomes 90 plus theta. Okay? So torque will be now m into b free to sin theta. So at any angle, this is a torque. Is this torque constant? No. No. From 0 to 90, when the angle changes, even torque is not constant. So you can write torque is i alpha alpha. Ah, that you get. Please do that. Yes, sir. Um, omega would be uh, root of 2 and be cos theta by l. Okay, others? No one? This torque should be equal to I alpha. Wait, 
manipulative change na but at any moment will not will that not be good for alpha at any moment okay so alpha i can write as d omega by dt i can also write alpha as omega d omega by d theta multiply and divide by d theta d theta by dt becomes omega so it becomes i omega d omega by d theta equals to mb sin theta and now you can integrate i omega d omega mb sin theta d theta theta goes from 0 to theta it goes from 0 to omega so you have i omega square by 2 sin theta integral is minus cos theta so it becomes minus of mb cos theta minus 1 or you can say 1 minus cos theta ok so omega will be 2 mb into 1 minus cos theta divided by i power of we got it wrong Okay, any doubt? So when you substitute the values, you get the answer. 